Hey guys, Josh here from Magic with Fishing Adventures. First things first, if you're new here, click that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. Secondly, if you're clicking on this, it means you may have a Hummingbird Helix unit and you're looking to get it updated and do it yourself, or you're just clicking on this because you didn't know that these things could be updated. Because uh, at the end of the day, these are computers, and computers have updates because they get better and better. So stay tuned in this video, I'm going to show you some of the reasons why you may need to get your unit updated and a step-by-step -step on how to update your Hummingbird Helix. So a few reasons why you may need to get it updated is uh, sometimes manufacturers notice a common problem in their units, whether it's a glitch from GPS or sonar, for example, on some of the older units, like the first gen Helixes, they had a glitch where the head unit was not reading the transducer that the unit came with. So you get on the water, you turn on your unit, and it says you have no sonar because it's not finding their transducer. Other things, they, they upgraded uh, Hummingbird base maps here in Manitoba, so they have a much more detailed outline of maps, which would be a software update, uh, and then they GPS fixes where uh, heading sensors and GPS heads weren't connecting to the satellites and weren't giving you GPS. So those are just a few of the reasons or uh, instances from the past that you've needed to do software updates. And uh, after doing that update, it fixes your problem. So uh, first things first, you're gonna need a couple things before you do this update. First thing goes without saying, you're gonna need a Helix. Uh, doesn't matter which generation, as long as you know there's an update for it, you need a Helix. Second thing, you're gonna need a power source to turn the Helix on when you're doing the update. Next thing you're gonna need is a SD card. Now if you have an older Helix, you may have a full SD card. On the newer ones, it's a little micro. So make sure you got the proper one that goes to your unit. Another note is you can't have an SD card that is over 32 gigabytes because the computers inside the units will not read anything over 32. So 32 and under, good. 64, 128, won't work. And then you're gonna need a computer of some sort. I'm gonna do this on an Apple MacBook, um, but you can do this on a PC, on Microsoft, whatever. Uh, it's not too specific. All right, so first things first, you gotta power up the Helix and let it go through its normal uh, turn on functions. So we'll go menu, normal, escape. And then you're going to plug in your SD card on the side here. You're gonna go menu, Menu, go to your settings, scroll all the way down, and we're going to encrypt the SD card. Right there. So encrypt SD card, scroll over to the right. Yes, SD card successfully encrypted. Now we're gonna turn off the unit. And now this SD card is capable of taking a software update from Humminbird. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is because it's a micro, have that adapter. We're gonna plug this into the computer. And if you wanna check to see if your encryption worked, what we're gonna do is wait for it to load up. No name. And we have an encryption file right there. Let me just zoom in right there. It is encrypted successfully. So, all right, now once you have your SD card successfully encrypted, we're gonna go to Humminbird's website and get the proper download. So you just Google Humminbird software updates and it brings you to this page right here. And it has a list of all the different units. Now this is important. You have to look on the bottom of your unit. There's gonna be a white tag and that tells you exactly what unit you have because this is an Ice Helix 7 I've converted to use in the summer. If I try downloading the regular summer Helix 7 Chirp GPS G2, it probably won't work. This is an Ice Helix 7, so make sure you have the proper one. And as you see here, on the actual page, we have Helix 7 series, and then underneath it, we have Ice series. And if we go here, Ice Helix 7 models, Ice Helix 7 Chirp GPS G2. That is what we want, because that is my unit that I'm updating. Right here, now we are running version 2.0, so that is older. So click here, continue to update. And now it tells you this is the latest update available. And underneath, 
It has some new features it tells you about, a new base map, some general fixes involving the uh, system, the sonar, etc. And underneath, it has step-by-step -step instructions here too, um, but because there's two steps here, download Helix software, and then now they have a new Humminbird base map. So we're gonna start with step one. So click on it, and now it's gonna go into the download bin, wait for it to complete downloading. All right, so once it's done updating, we can minimize this. On max, you go to go, go to your downloads. Now we're gonna see it right at the top here. Helix 7, Chirp GPS G2. Gonna scroll over and put it in the SD card. Now let it transfer. Okay, now once it's done, we're gonna safely export this. So here, drag it to your trash and it exports it. Okay, now that's done. SD now card hold is ready, up. so we're gonna take it out. Now first, power up your Helix. Let it go through all its opening uh, turn on motions. So once again, this is a micro. Sorry for the birds, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so menu, put it to normal, exit. It's not asking me to do anything. Then, then plug your SD card in after it's already powered up. And it'll ask you, replacing the software on this unit will restore the factory defaults. Losing power during this process may corrupt the unit and require shipment to Humminbird Service, which is not covered under warranty. Replace software version 2.0 with version 2.3, yes. Abort software update? No, we want it to go through. And then do not lose power, basically. Let it do its thing. All right, and then once it's done, it'll automatically restart. And we're gonna go back to normal settings once it uh, boots up again. All right, so once it's done, we can scroll through. System status, software update version 2.32. It is, is successful. So now we are good for step one. Now we gotta do step two for the base map. So plug your SD card back in. Now we're gonna get rid of that other update. Just drag it to the bin, but we're gonna leave the encryption so it allows Humminbird Helix to take it. I'm gonna go back to the internet and now we're going to download step two which is the base map software update click on it and right here click the link and now it's going to download all right and once step two the base map is downloaded we can exit right out of here once again go to downloads Go to Humminbird Base Map. It's a folder. We're going to copy both and drag it into the SD card, which is no name in this case. And it's like over a gigabyte, so it's going to take a while to transfer over. So give it some time. All right, and once it's done being transferred, we are going to safely export the SD card. It is now done. Now we're going to power up the Helix. So power it on. SD card is ready. All right, menu. We're gonna go to normal. Exit, exit. Okay. Everything's good. I'm going to plug the SD card in. Yes, we want to do the update. So scroll to the right. Abort. No, we don't want abort. And now because this one's a bigger one, it's going to take quite a bit longer. Just kind of place it to the side and uh, be patient. And once that's done, you have a complete up-to-date Humminbird unit. And uh, usually once a year, it's not a bad idea, or before ice season, before summer, go on Humminbird's website, see if there's been an update for your unit, update it, and then you get the latest and greatest, and you're gonna run your unit to its fullest potential. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope it helped you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode of Matt Fishing Adventures.